if you want to hear, want to hear an inspiring word that will get you through your day. If you want to build your faith, your faith grow in God's grace, God's grace. To have a better connection with Jesus Christ. So tune in to Good God's Morning. Good God's Morning. Good God's Morning. Right, beloved good guys morning to you listen it's sunday morning sunday morning sunday morning it's time to play some card it is time for us to get ready and to get to church amen praise the lord i am just super excited that i'm trying to contain myself because i am just ready to worship the lord this morning in spirit and in truth and to see my fellow brothers and sister as we worship the lord together <laughs> listen I'm just excited. Good God's morning to you. Beloved, how are you doing this morning, this Sunday morning? Listen, y'all done had an extra hour of sleep, or have you tossed around because you, your body's already accustomed to getting up at a certain time, and you realize, oh, it's a different time? Y'all done had some good sleep this morning, so y'all got ample enough time to get to worship service this morning. You heard me, okay? Let's go. Let's go, all right? Good God's morning to you. Let us get our scripture this morning. Our scripture this morning, beloved, is awesome. It's coming from 2 Chronicles. That's right. That's right. Mm-hmm. 2 Chronicles chapter 20, verse 15 and 17. 2 Chronicles chapter 20, verse 15 and 17. And it says, he said, listen, King Jehoshaphat and all who live in Judah and Jerusalem. This is what the Lord says to you. Do not be afraid or discouraged because of the vast army. For the battle is not yours, but God's. Verse 17 says, you will not have to fight this battle. Take up your position, stand firm, and see the deliverance that the Lord will give you. O Judah and Jerusalem, do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. Go out to face them tomorrow, and the Lord will be with you. Beloved, 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 listen to me. Listen, come here, come here. Listen to me. Listen to me real carefully. Some of y'all are fighting a battle that God never intended for you to be fighting. I'll, I'll let that marinate right there in your spirit. Some of you are fighting a battle. That only thing God intended for you to do was to be in place. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, 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 mm. Look, look at what the scripture said right there. Look, look at what that scripture says right there. Here it is in the text, beloved. He said, the man of God told them, he said, listen, King Jehoshaphat. I know you the king. I know, you know, you, you and Judah, Judah and Jerusalem, y'all got, you know, your army. And I, I understand that. I understand that. I understand, listen, that you don't want to go down like no punk. I understand that. I understand that you don't want nobody to look at you and like, oh, he couldn't do it. Oh, they couldn't do it. Oh, they got beat by them. Oh, 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 oh. But he says to you, the Lord says to you, do not be afraid, discouraged because of the bigness of this army. For this battle ain't even yours, but it belongs to God. God just needs somebody that's going to be able to stand in the spot. Can I tell you, sometimes you're fighting things and God never meant for you to just not even do that. Not even, he didn't even mean for you to take this. He just wants you to stand that he needs a vessel to where he can not only show himself strong to the people, but also show himself strong to you. But here you are trying to fight the battle and get all up in God's business. It ain't your business. It ain't your battle. Just stand there. 
I know it seems unorthodox. It seems crazy. I know people are going to be like, why are you just standing there? Oh, she's scared. He's scared. Oh, no, no, no. God is using you. Let people talk. Let people do what they want to do. Tell them to mind their business while you mind your business and you do what the Lord told you to do, okay? And you just stand there. You let God do what God's supposed to do because God sent for you to be the vessel so that he can show himself mighty to them as well as to you. You just stand. Stand. The scripture says that he told him to take your position. Hear me clearly. Take your position. Stand firm and see the deliverance that the Lord is going to give you. Some of y'all are missing some viable instruction when God gives it to you. And you think you got to get all up in there and be fighting and get all up in there and get your hands there. God says, no, I just need you to stand there. Take your positions. Take your positions. Take your positions because I'm, I'm finna I'm fin make this real good for you. Take your positions. I need you, I need you just to stand there. Take your positions and just stand. Because I'm fit to I'm fit to show you what true deliverance is when you do what I've asked you to do. God tells us again, listen, Jerusalem and Judah, don't be afraid. Don't be discouraged. I know I gave you some unorthodox assignment that you are to do, but I'm, I'm telling you, if I said it, I am going to keep my word. You just stand there. You just stand there. Just stand there. Don't be afraid. Don't be discouraged. I don't care how big the situation is in your life. I don't care how vast, as the word of God said, the situation is, the, the circumstance, it does not matter because there is nothing too hard for God. And God is about to, one, show himself strong on your behalf for you and as well as to you. God is about to show them people, whoever that, that this battle is between, he's about to show the people who you, who you are, meaning whose side you're on, who is on your side. So don't worry about it. Don't worry about them. You do, you hear God and you do what God tells you to do. God says this battle is not yours. This battle is mine because it's for my glory. I'm using you as the vessel. I'm going to prove to you who I say I am. And I'm also going to prove to them that I am God. And they shall not mess with my man or woman or women or men of God. Do you hear me? He says, I'm going to fight this battle for you. All I need you to do is take your position. Beloved, take your position. Stand firm. Put a smile on your face. Look at them as if you are, because because you already know what the end is going to be. Hey, glory. So I need you to stand in your position. I need you not to be discouraged. I need you to smile. I need you to walk in there confident. I need you to do what thus says the Lord and God says today for you to take your position, stand firm, and watch the deliverance shall, shall come. Oh, my God from Zion. Mm, 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 mm. Be not afraid. Whoever Judah is this morning, whoever is Jerusalem is this morning, be not afraid. Can I tell you again? Be not afraid. Be not afraid. The ending part of that scripture says, go out to face them tomorrow. And the Lord will give you, and the Lord will be with you. Go out to face them. Don't let nobody scare you all. Be scared and you hide it. No, remember today what the Lord God is telling you. Go take your positions and stand firm and see him do it. God is not a man that he's he slack. Neither he is a man that he should lie. He ain't got no reason to lie to you. If God said it, which he's saying to you this morning, go and see God deliver. Go and take your position. Stand firm. That means stand confident in the word of God, knowing that God is going to come through. He comes through every time. He's going to come through for you too. Ah, don't worry about their faces. Don't worry about the bigness of the situation or the matter. It does not matter. Nothing is too hard for God. We serve a big God. 
hallelujah, that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we could ever ask of him. Huh? Huh? So tomorrow or whatever it is, whatever you're dealing with, whatever is going on in your mind and your heart, don't worry about it. God is going to take care of it. You make sure you're in place and you stand confident. Okay? That's your job. Get in place and to stand firm. Get in place and to stand firm and watch God deliver. Get in place and to stand firm. Come on, say that. Get in place. Say, I'm going to get in place and I'm going to stand confident on his word. Get in place and I'm going to stand firm because God will deliver. Let us pray. Father, we thank you, God, this morning for your word. We thank you for the opportunity to be able to come together and to hear and commune with you and our fellow brothers and sisters. God, we thank you for the confirmation this morning that someone needed to know, oh God, to get out of your way. You have already put this thing in. It is already a done deal. All they got to do is to stand firm and to get in position. God, and they shall see the deliverance that you shall bring for them. God, we thank you, oh God, that you're not a man that you you are, you, you are slack. God, you're not concerned. You're not slack concerning your promises. God, you are not slack. You are, you're not a man that you should lie, but everything that you have spoken, it shall come to pass. And so God, we give it to you today. We dismantle all fear. We dismantle all discouragement. God, we're not going to show forth no fear because you have not given us fear, but God, you've given us a sound mind, love, and a sound mind. And so God, this morning, we thank you for the confirmation to tell us just to get in position and to stand firm, and we shall see the deliverance of the Lord. Lord, we thank you. We give you praise, glory, and the honor. It's in Jesus' name we pray. And the people of God said, amen. Bless those, oh God, who are watching this morning. Bless those that will watch this later. Oh God, bless those that may already been on and, and gotten off of whatever reason, God, that they too understand and they experience, oh God, that they, all they got to do is get in position and Lord, you are going to fight the battle for them. It is not even theirs, Woo! but it belongs to you. And we thank you. We give you glory for fighting every battle, all our battles, God, on our behalf. It's in Jesus' name we pray. And the people of God say, amen. Amen, amen, amen. 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 Good God's morning to you. Good God's morning. Look at God. Look at your beautiful people. Look at the beautiful people of God. Good God's morning, Pastor Hicks. And good God's morning, Baby Thompson. Y'all say good morning to First Lady Karen. Good morning, First Lady. Good morning, Apostle Harrison. Good morning, Keita Scott. Good morning, Reckley Ronnie. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Shelley. Good God's morning to all of you this morning. Good God's morning. Good morning, Tank Warren. Good God's morning to you. Good morning, Victoria. Bum, 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 bum. Good morning to you. Good morning. Good God's morning to you. Listen, I'm trying to get everybody. Good morning, Rhonda Jones. Good morning. Good God's morning to all of you. Good morning, Z Davis. Good God's morning to you. Good God's morning, everybody. Good God's morning to you. Listen, if I didn't call out your name, it's because I can't see you. Say good Good morning to me. Good morning, Chris Williams. Good morning, Paula. Good morning, Paula. Good morning. Good morning, uh, 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 Catherine Harmon. Good morning, Michelle Satcher. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good guys. Morning, Sister Perry. What's up? I hope to see you today. Good guys. Morning, Sister Woods. What's up? Good morning, Sister Maria. Hello, 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 hello. Good guys, morning to each and every one of you. Good guys, morning, Kanita. Good guys, morning, everybody. Listen, get in position. That's it. Don't be discouraged. Just get in position and stand confident on the word of God because the battle ain't yours, beloved. God just need a vessel to show himself mighty and strong to you heard me good guys morning everybody y'all have a great and a beautiful day listen come and join me today come join me today we're talking about boundaries we're talking about boundaries this morning and i don't know what the spirit of the lord is going to do but i i'm just ecstatic because we're going to be talking about boundaries this morning praise god we're going to be talking about boundaries services at 11 o'clock this morning no other place than paplico south carolina 611 east main street in the great city of paplico south carolina so y'all come join us this morning all right there is a word from the lord 
Lord, I promise you, you want, do not want to miss this. It's about setting boundaries. So come, let us worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. If you can't be there in person for whatever reason, because of your distance, watch us live on Facebook at 11 a.m. today, okay? Good guys morning to everyone. Listen, get in position, stand on his word, and see your deliverance, okay? Good guys morning to you. We'll see y'all today at 11 o'clock, and we'll see you tomorrow for another good guys morning moment. God bless you. We love you. There's nothing you can do about it. If you want to hear, want to hear an inspiring word that will get you through your day, Want to build your faith, your faith. grow in God's grace, God's grace. To have a better connection with Jesus Christ. So tune in to Good God's Morning. Good God's Morning. Good God's Morning. Good God's Morning.